All right, welcome to Doodle Mania with Greg. Right now we're gonna draw a dinosaur and I'm gonna give you a quick art lesson about why you start with a pencil when you're ready to do some drawings. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look at the size of my paper and say, aha, I don't wanna start on a dinosaur drawing and then let it get crazy and runs off the page before I'm ready to let it run off the page. So I'm gonna do a stick figure of my dinosaur to make sure he fits on the page. And if he doesn't, I'm gonna erase some things. Like if I have his leg, oh, the leg ran right off the page. So that's the reason they put erasers on the back end of a pencil. I'm gonna knock off part of that leg and I'm gonna say, okay, the leg starts up here and that way it stays on the page. And I'm just gonna doodle and scribble until I can come up with a shape that I think starts off looking like a dinosaur. Now, that shows me where all my drawing has got to go on this page. So, I'll look at that and say, well, if his head is here, then his eyeball needs to be here, and I'm going to just go put a circle. Then I'm going to draw his teeth, because that's the most famous and fun part of any dinosaur, is the great big giant teeth. And judging by where my pencil lines are and changing the lines that I do with my pen or my pencil or my crayon or whatever else I'm inking with. We call it an inking because I'm going over a pencil line. Uh, I'm just adding things that fit where I've already put my pencil lines that show me where I want my dinosaur to be. And I'm adjusting as I go because I don't have to trace my pencil lines. The pencil lines are just there to help me keep everything on the page and shows me where his leg in the front goes and where his leg in the back goes. And then once I do that, I've decided I want him to have great big claws. And he's drooling. Uh, drooling's not very attractive, but dinosaurs were not really attractive to start with. Let's see, also, once I've gotten this far and I go, oh, I've got a neat looking dinosaur. If I want to, I can add some plants in the background, palm trees and scrubby stuff and a volcano. And I'm gonna make sure when I'm drawing my background, I don't cross all the way on top of my dinosaur. I'm putting it all behind it. So I can stop and start the lines behind it. But I know where he is because I penciled him in first. And we can draw a volcano exploding because that's always fun to draw. Draw some trees down here. And we got a, ourselves a really neat dinosaur. And right now, he's just as complex as the background is. The background's not very complex. So let's add scales. If I just draw a whole lot of half circles stacked up on top of one another, and I don't have to fill him up with them. I've just got to show where some of them are. Suddenly, my dinosaur not only has scales on him, but he's got more detail than the background. And that's kind of good. So when you draw a foreground, something in the front, the main thing that you're drawing, put a couple of details on it. And that way your background can kind of be simple and easy. And the foreground thing, the important part, is really cool because it's got a little extra detail. That's it, get to it.